other than surface area analysis, with this gas absorption analysis, people can also get pool, a lot of information about porosity, about pores. Okay. And the underlying principle is essentially capillary condensation. We talk about BET, we talk about we talked about uh, monolayer to multi-layer, from monolayer coverage to multi-layer and as if it's liquid. So capillary condensation inside pores. When multi-layer absorption happens, initially first layer, monolayer, you increase the pressure, become multi-layer absorption. Inside pores at below boiling point. We do this at liquid nitrogen at the boiling point of the absorbent. The actual state, read this thing to yourself, the actual state of multi-layer absorbent, they resemble a liquid. We said, okay, monolayer, we can imagine, multi-layer, but what is multi-layer absorption? Hmm, what is exactly is that? We said, if the temperature is below your melting point, uh, sorry, boiling point, the multi-layer coverage on the surface is behaving as if it's like a liquid. Make sense? When we are below the boiling point, below the boiling point of water, below 100 degrees C, multi-layer gas water, they may behave like water, right? Multi-layer multi water molecule packed closely together. That's just like liquid water. That's essentially what we are saying. Okay, so we have gas, we have solid, in between is vacuum. Initially, we put some gas, partial coverage, and then we achieve like this. This is what we call monolayer coverage, right? And uh, as we keep increasing the pressure, we would transfer into so-called uh, multi-layer coverage. But essentially what we said is if the temperature is low enough, if the temperature is below the Boiling point. This multi-layer packed very dense. We said, remember, we said it's like longer meal, packed one by one, one by one, very dense. When they are packed very dense, it's like a liquid. Make sense? That's essentially the physical picture of it. Okay. And then to understand, to mathematically describe this a little bit, people say, okay, assume, make a simple assumption, assume the pores are what shape? Not spherical. We assume they are like a tube, like a cylindrical shape, because that's easier to describe. Constant pore throughout. Because if it all sphere pores, that will be you have a lot of connection, very a li little bit more complex. But for simplicity, let's just assume it's like a cylinder pores with constant radius. Okay. If we define a few terms, P for actual gas pressure, P zero for Saturation gas pressure over a planar, planar vapor liquid surface. Gamma for surface tension between what? Between liquid for that absorbent and the vapor phase. Okay. And VL, the molar volume for the liquid. One mole of this liquid, what's the volume? Okay. It's in the unit of meter um, cube per mole. Theta, contact angle between the liquid and uh, your solid substrate or pore wall. And capillary radius, what's the radius for this tube? Okay. And the relative gas pressure in the capillaries when condensation occurs, when it becomes liquid, it's governed by the Kevin equation. Relative pressure, take natural log, is 2 times gamma surface tension times molar volume times contact angle cosine term divided by RT of radius. Okay, that's, I guess, physics. We wouldn't go into the detail. Which means at any pressure, P smaller than what? Equilibrium, right? Saturation um, between liquid and uh, the vapor phase. And at a pressure P and temperature T, the capillary condensation would occur in pores with radius R determined by the Kevin equation. What that means is 
when the pool size R is very, very small, which means this whole thing would be very, very large and it's negative, which means P has to be very, very, compared with P0, has to be very, very low, which means uh, as we're getting closer to vacuum, the smaller pores will be filled. Make sense? As R goes towards infinity, the pores getting larger and larger and larger, what does that mean? R goes towards infinity, this ratio become zero, minus zero is still zero, which means P over P zero getting close to one. Make sense? That's my second what it says, which means, okay, when to cover liquid cover a flat surface, you need the pressure to go to your equilibrium pressure. Make sense? Under that temperature, below your boiling point. So that's essentially the equation, okay? So this is what we have from Kevin equation, the ratio, the relative ratio and the radius is related. Or if we want something about size, we just man manipulate. This is our absorption, desorption isotherm with capillary condensation in between them, okay? And at any relative pressure increase, as the relative pressure increase, larger and larger pores will be filled up by condensed by this liquid absorbed uh, gas. Okay, and of course the highest point would be saturation. The VAD is absorbed gas volume under standard temperature pressure needed to absorb and fill up the pore. Absorb, monolayer, and then beyond that is going to fill up the certain size of pores under a pressure, corresponding pressure, in the unit of uh, cubic centimeter per gram. And the total volume for the pores smaller than this one is determined by P over P0 is given by this one. The total pore volume would be the absorbed gas volume, right? Absorbed gas volume divided by your gas under standard condition, how many mole, right? How many mole, and then you go from how many mole to how many this is i i think is the molar mass gram from the gas to molar to gram of gas and the things we are talking about the absorbent now is in a liquid it's in a liquid for the pores right within the pore it's in a liquid the rho l is the liquid density for that liquid so now we can get into the gas. So, sorry, the, the volume of the pores, total volume of the pores, okay? So for nitrogen, if we have the molar mass for nitrogen, and then we also have the density for liquid nitrogen, we can have the conversion, the total pore volume, we can calculate it in the unit of centimeter cube per gram. This is, would give us the pore volume for pores smaller than certain size, which is R, okay? And the VC is called a cumulative pore volume, VC, cumulative pore volume. It's for anything that is smaller than that size R, which corresponds to this ratio. Uh, 